So today's video is going to be a sick day makeup, hair, and outfit, plus some of my essentials that I feel like everyone should have with them when you're sick or not feeling well. The look that I'm going to show you guys is really simple and casual, so even if you're not sick, I guess it could just be a lazy day makeup, hair, and outfits type of look, I guess. I don't know about you guys, but recently I feel like everyone I know is getting sick and I feel like I'm next. Like, I'm the next victim and like, it's gonna happen, but I don't want it to. Luckily, I haven't yet. Ha. Knock on wood. <laughs> of course, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Um, and yeah, I guess I will see you in two seconds because you're gonna see me in two seconds. Okay, bye! So do you ever have those days where you're just not feeling well and you have to go outside for something and people just start looking at you as if you're some sort of disease? Because I'm really hoping I'm not the only one. solve that problem by starting with the makeup and we want to get rid of that red Rudolph nose so we need some concealer and I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer for foundation of course I'm using my covergirl 3-in-1 it's amazing I talk about it a lot and I'm just using my beauty blender to apply that to my skin and then to set it all I'm using my Rimmel London stay matte powder for blush, so we don't look like a dead person, um, I'm using my NYX Bordeaux blush, and I'm just applying that to my cheeks with this angled brush blush, brush blush, really, blush brush, and then I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows, and I'm just using a brown eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous champagne eyeliner, and I'm going to put that on my inner highlight, as well as my lower lash line and my waterline. And then I'm going to take Max Eyeshadow in Floof and put that on my inner highlight and lower lash line, and it just makes your eyes pop so much, and it makes you look really awake, which we know we really didn't sleep well the night before. And as you can tell, it makes a huge, huge difference. So now I'm just going to finish my other eye. The next step is optional, but if you have the time and energy, I highly suggest applying just a little bit of eyeliner, and I like to do it to my upper lash line and then blend it out with a blending brush. And then for mascara, of course, I'm using my Clump Crusher from CoverGirl. So next, I'm applying Baby Lips Peach Kiss to my lips because... I really like baby lips, and you want chapstick when you're sick, just saying. Um, next, we're going on to the hair, and I'm just wearing this side braid. It's so simple, and I wear this all the time when I'm just in a lazy mood. So first, you want to twist your hair in the back, so that way you don't have all the baby hairs like going crazy and stuff. And then you're just going to make a simple braid. And then you are done with the hair and makeup. And honestly, guys, it's so, so simple. It took me probably like five minutes to do. It's really easy. And now we're going on to the outfit. So my go-to outfit when I'm just lazy or not feeling well is comfy, like comfy all the way. So I'm wearing this scarf from Brandy Melville and this top from Victoria's Secret. Of course, I'm wearing my Uggs and my favorite jeggings from, I almost said Forever 21, from American Eagle. <laughs> Okay, so now on to the essentials. Here are some things that I absolutely love having when I'm sick and not feeling well and just things that make me feel better. So first is some hot lemon water with honey. You guys, this stuff is magical. I don't know what it is about it, but every single time it will like clear my sore throat and I just feel so much better. So all you have to do is get some hot water and put lemon in it and some honey and you're good. And again, just having that shimmery eyeliner to help make your eyes appear more awake is a must. It's like my holy grail thing when I'm sick. I have to do this look. It helps a lot. Tissues are pretty self-explanatory, but they do come in handy when you're sick. So they are definitely a must for me. Concealer for that Rudolph nose or zombie under eye dark circles. We, we just want to cover those up. So that's definitely a must. 
and then chapstick because I may be the only one, I'm probably not, but I apply chapstick like 24 seven when I'm sick. So I always have to have one of those with me anytime I'm not feeling well because it's just a huge essential for me. And yeah, those are all of my essentials, which means I'm done with this video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and let me know some of your guys' essentials in the comments below and I'll definitely check some of those out. So yeah, see you guys later, bye. Selfie.